here you can see lane lines a little bit better than others but no matter what here at 617 you just have to be careful when you do get up. and you know we do have an update Fairfield went from a delay now to being closed so Fairfield City Schools will now be closed for the day up okay. in Butler County and all those are kind of coming in rapidly right around the five o'clock so hour is really when it yes. starts to happen uh, but you know if you're heading out, because a lot of folks doesn't doesn't matter what the weather is, you're going to work, right? So know that obviously road conditions may vary and you're going to continue to see rounds of snow showers roll through for about the next four hours or so, which means the road conditions will continue to go from wet and cleared to snow covered because the pavement itself still very cold after our recent cold snap. Looking at the radar right now, you can see no matter where you are in greater Cincinnati, you're either seeing a very fine flurry or mist and then other areas seeing a more enhanced band of snow. And that's the deeper blue here you're seeing on the radar that's basically sitting right over top of downtown and now into portions of northern Kentucky. So we'll start out zooming into the 275 loop here. Again, no matter where you're jumping on the highway, uh, you are looking at snow and you know some lanes are clearer than others right as we look to the north up in butler county hamilton to fairfield seeing a light to moderate snow band there, letting up a little bit over top of 75 at the moment and then steady snow showers along i-71 again up in portions of clinton county and into highland county uh, we've already measured at least an inch of snow and that was over an hour ago so they've definitely added to those totals there uh, right down 62 from new market to winchester and then on into portions of Adams County as we go a little bit further to the south. Uh, just got a picture from the Mount Olivet area showing at least almost two inches of snow there uh, to the south here and through portions of uh, in through uh, Boone, Kenton and Campbell counties. We do have uh, steady snow showers down into Pendleton County as well. And then looking to the west, you can see what's headed our way. Now the force of some heavier snow bands going kind of from Evansville down to Louisville, but we still have accumulating snow all the way back toward Terre Haute. And that line passes through Cincinnati right before the lunch hour today. So anticipate Additional snow accumulation up through about the 10 o'clock hour and then fading away as we get closer to lunchtime. But we have this winter weather advisory for the entire area. If you were watching yesterday, it was just for the south and to the east, but everyone joined in on it because of the impact it is having on travel this morning. And everyone's kind of going to be in the same boat here as far as snowfall totals go. You're going to end up with about one to three inches of a very fluffy snow to clear as we get into the afternoon. Want to talk about the road conditions and you can see the road condition projection up through lunchtime is still snow covered, but then you see those improvements as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. So if you do have Friday night plans, this morning snow won't have a huge impact on that. Once the road crews clear out, you know, whatever's left over at noon, we're looking better. So future cash shows 7 a.m. We've got snow showers by 10 a.m. We're on the back side of this. And as we head into the afternoon, winds pick up, temperatures drop. So plan on it feeling like the single digits as we get into uh, Friday evening. And actually tonight we drop all the way down to six. So cold air rolls in on the back side of this system, which means for tomorrow, if you're heading out early, 8 a.m., 6 degrees, still feels like 7 degrees below zero. And we keep a sub-zero wind chill through noon tomorrow. Cold air for the weekend, but a warm-up on the way. Into next week, temperatures trending toward 50 degrees. Let's get right over to Katie because I can see you have...